All along the trough of Kenya's Great Rift Valley, deep inside volcanoes, engineers are hunting for steam. Kenya leads the continent in geothermal energy, converting steam tapped from more than two kilometers below the Earth's crust into electricity. Huge plants convert the highly pressurized steam into power. Kenya already produces 210 megawatts, but that's taken more than 30 years to develop, and it falls far short of ambitious targets to deliver 5,000 megawatts by 2030. Kengen, the country's state-controlled generating company, admits the country is underperforming. I, I think uh, the biggest uh, frustration has been the speed how, much, how fast we, we move into developing. Some of the causes would, would be, of course, financing. But the other, the other challenges have been convincing people that you have a huge uh, potential. The main problem is that extremely high upfront costs means it could take $20 billion to hunt out the steam, build the turbines, and connect it all to the grid. Smaller plants may help. So far, the country has delivered large power plants, such as this one at the Olkaria field, Africa's biggest geothermal plant. But it took so long to develop that steam discoveries lay dormant for years in the meantime. The next two plants will cost a billion dollars and won't get going until 2014. Engineers now say that not only can the cost of drilling come down, but new mini plants can start producing energy at site within a year. This mini plant, a pilot right at the wellhead, cost a fraction to build, produces energy on the spot, and could be widely replicated. Now the government hopes it can roll out the system and convince the private sector to help build a series of wellhead plants, generating power and money along the way. It has already awarded tenders to build them at Menengai Volcano, the newest frontier in Kenya's geothermal prospecting. I'm here in the heart of the Menengai crater, now this is the second biggest volcanic depression in the world and the rim of the old volcano surrounds me right the way around. And this site is, is the site that the Kenyan government is developing most recently in the hope to find geothermal energy. And it works because the crust here in the middle of the volcano is the thinnest so it's easiest to get to the hot pressured steam underground. And it's going so well that of all the eight holes that the Kenyan government has drilled so far, each one has struck steam. Kenya's search for steam is just beginning. Katrina Manson, Financial Times, in the Great Rift Valley.